Hi, welcome to Apex Math. This is our second unit on scientific notation. Previously, we looked at how to convert a number written in standard form into scientific notation. And today, we are going to look at going in the other direction when we have a number that's already written in scientific notation and we want to put it into standard form. So if we remember from our last lesson, scientific notation is where we have a number that has a single uh, natural number here, a counting number, and followed by a decimal with a, any number of numbers written after that point. And then it's times 10 to some power, and the power can be positive or negative. And here's another example down here, 2.61. 5 times 10 to the minus 3. So all of this does here, in this direction I think it's actually a bit easier, is the power tells us to move our decimal point and we're going to move it either to the right or the left. And if the power is positive, then our number needs to, remember, get bigger. So since this is a positive 4, we know our number here, written in scientific notation, needs to get bigger. So in order to get bigger, remember on the number line, numbers get bigger when we move in that direction. This here has a negative number, so we know that our number needs to get smaller. And in order to get smaller, we need to move in this direction. So we're going to simply take that decimal point here, and we're going to move that many uh, points in the direction which this value here, the power of the 10, tells us to do. And if we don't have a number to move to, we're going to add a 0 as a placeholder. So in this case, we have the 3.43, .3, and we know we need to move it four places in the right direction. So we're going to go, we're going to use this bunny hop approach. So we're going to do 1. And we're going to do 2, so that's 1, that's 2. We need to go a total of 4. So we're going to do 2 more, but because there are no numbers there to bunny hop around, we're going to put a placeholder in. That's 3, and that's 4. So our final answer becomes 3, 4, 3, 0, 0. And that's it. The next one is 2.615. And now we need to move three places, but this time we're going to move to the left. The same thing. If there's a number there, we move by it. If there isn't, we put a placeholder in. So we're going to go, we have got one number to move next to, so that counts as one. We need to go a total of three, so we're going to need two placeholders. So we're going to have a zero here, that's two. And we're going to have another one here, zero here, that's three. Our decimal point is there. So we end up with 0 0 0.0026 1. Oops, should be a five. So erase it and make that a five. There we go. Uh, we'll do two more and that's really as simple as it gets doing this uh, in this particular direction. Okay, so here's another example. Let's say we have 3.251 times 10 to the 6th, and we have 4.72 times 10 to the negative 1. So for the first one, we are going to take our decimal point, let's rewrite this for a second, and we're going to move it six places. Since it's a positive number here, we're going to move it to the right. So we're going to bunny hop six places. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to add three zeros, and you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six places. 
So we end up with 3, 2, 5, 1, 0, 0, 0 as our answer. In this next one, if we rewrite this, you can see it's a negative number, so we need to move to the left. And we need to just go one place. So I'm going to go one place. And that stops us right there in front of the 4. So we end up with point four. Seven, two. We didn't need any placeholders in that one. And that's all there is to it for this second part of scientific notation. For the next part, we will look at how to do arithmetic with scientific notation, so be sure to tune in. Thank you very much.